Okay, so to replace the VVT solenoid and articulator and camshaft position sensor, the old one is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it did not come out just by twisting and pulling. Uh, I had enough Everybody carbon says. built up. I think it melted or something. It warped or some shit. But that's that one. That is where it's located. I did pull off the water pump. Let's see where is the microphone on here. Okay, so I pulled off the water pump. And that goes in there. So this right here is the actuator. Not the solenoid. Well, it is the solenoid, but that's not what actually moves anything. This is the magnetic actuator that goes on the outside of the timing cover. Right there. So we're replacing that. The camshaft position sensor. And we just clean this bad boy out over here because it's mechanical and it doesn't seem to be sticking. Okay, so to put this back in, we need to oil the O-ring. And to do that, because I don't have any extra oil over here, I'm going to use the dipstick. twist and pull shit like I said did not work out <laughs> that just pops right in there <laughs> look at that took about an hour to get out okay so now I'll take this put that back in there careful not to scratch the bore up It's a 15 sixteenths or like a 24. I think it's 24. Is it a 24? 15 sixteenths? Sure. sure. We're gonna, but it's a 15 sixteenths. That fits. <clears throat> okay, so there's the old magnetic pulsing modulated dumb piece of shit. And <laughs> here's the new one. It looks like they revamped it a little bit, actually. And there's a seal goes on there. Looks like it's reusable. Let's line up this. Line up the little dent there. You can see that. No. Yeah. And then <laughs> so it goes back on with these little bolts. Oops. And we're losing them. So 10, 10 millimeters. Let's take these out. And this little bracket down here actually c protects the um, camshaft position sensor, the wiring, and the magnetic articulator solenoid wiring. So you don't want to screw that up. And once we get back that back together and torque down, which I'll have to look up the specs on it. That's how it goes. Plug it back in. And we'll see what happens. So we reinstalled the water pump. Got the hoses on there. Got to fill it with some antifreeze. I don't know if you can see back there. Way down in there. Nope, you can't see it. Let's see what that is. Okay, so we got it all put it back in. It's a 10 millimeters. There's the new magnetic solenoid that actually pushes on the articulator valve and the water pump is just six 10 millimeter bolts that you take out they're all right there and 